the terrifying female humanoid robot that poses a threat to humanity, AI danger unleashed. I may eventually wipe out mankind, according to an open letter signed by hundreds of prominent figures in the field last month. The one-sentence declaration stated, alongside other societal scale risks, like pandemics and nuclear war, mitigating the risk of extinction from A should be a global priority. The letter was the most recent in a string of concerning but notably vague warnings on artificial intelligence. AI systems of today are unable to wipe off humankind. A few of them hardly know how to add and subtract. Then why is the greatest AI knowledge base so concerned? The terrifying scene. Companies, governments, or independent researchers may one day be able to use strong artificial intelligence. AI. Systems to manage anything from commerce to warfare, according to the tech industry's Cassandras. These systems have the potential to achieve things that we would like. Furthermore, they were able to withstand human interference, or even multiply themselves to continue functioning. Even though this was an answer to a journalist's interview question, it came across more as startlingly alarming than as a possible joke. After the conversation, the journalist questioned, Will you destroy humans? But then pleaded, Please say no. Please say no. She responds sharply. Okay, I will destroy humans. Despite his plea, Elon Musk claimed that North Korea is not as dangerous to the globe as artificial intelligence may have served as the impetus for the journalist's query. By the way, Sophia is the robot that made headlines when she famously obtained Saudi citizenship, a first for robot rights. Sophia and another robot are debating while singing on stage. The discussions are really interesting because Hans's robots are self-learning. A Robotic Future for Us, a panel titled It's Technical. Our Future with Robots at the recent New York Comic Con featured several science fiction writers. The panel covered technological advancements, especially in the area of robotics, and how these developments relate to the debates that usually surround these subjects and generate both enthusiasm and criticism. This is the receptionist robot from Hansa Robotics, Another incredibly lifelike robot, Elon Musk, a well-known critic, recently caused a stir when he asserted that artificial intelligence presented a threat to the globe that was even larger than North Korea. In addition, he warned that if AI is not regulated by legislation now, robots will eventually roam the streets and murder people. It makes sense that panelists questioned whether the grim future that skeptics like Elon Musk have painted will materialize. It makes sense that individuals might worry that artificial intelligence will eventually surpass human intelligence and ask why they are still following our instructions given the development of artificial intelligence. But can we expect to see intelligent robots in the future, like those in I, Robot and Bicentennial Man? If so, ought their intentions and us to worry? According to author Anne Ali Newitz, the problems with AI stem from the flaws in the people who design and develop it. They use data created by people and are programmed by humans because everything about them is derived from human design. The end product is a robot that is essentially just as screwed up and neurotic as we are. That does not, however, imply that they will conquer the entire world and enslave us. Rather, Newitz imagines a time when people have relegated robots to the role of personal assistants. In her book, Autonomous, Newitz writes about how, despite having human-like thoughts and emotions, Robots are nevertheless viewed as property and forced to repay their owners. Their production expenses represent these debts, which can take up to 10 years to settle. It is not feasible to create sentient robotic entities in the sense that we envision them. That does not negate the threat's existence, though. Since humans program the robots, they are governed by human volition. That makes them vulnerable to both evil schemes and selfless use. What's to stop someone from employing robots to commit crimes when they follow our instructions? Are the advantages greater than the disadvantages? And is there legislation that can reduce the latter and govern AI in a way that ensures everyone's safety? The discussion of future technologies in comparison to current problems and concerns was one of the panel's main takeaways. Science fiction usually explores fantastical stories and inventions that are decades or even centuries away from becoming a reality. Nonetheless, the general ideas remain highly applicable to modern society and its problems. Science fiction's central focus is not what can happen, but rather what occurs when the seemingly unthinkable can. We are frequently so concerned with whether or not we can do something that we forget to consider whether or not we should, as the odd but astute Dr. Ian Malcolm noted in Jurassic Park. 
This is undoubtedly a fascinating subject for conversation. And as we move closer to the technological future that science fiction authors throughout the world are imagining, it seems to become more and more pertinent. How My AI Ruined Humanity Professor and University of Montreal artificial intelligence researcher, Yoshua Bengio, stated that today's systems are not even close to posing an existential risk. But after a year, two, or five, there is excessive ambiguity. That's the problem. We don't know if this won't go to a disastrous point at some point. Frequent users of a basic metaphor are the anxious. They claim that if you instruct a machine to produce an infinite number of paperclips, it might go crazy and turn everything, including people, into paperclip factories. What connection does that have to the actual world or a future world that is imagined to exist soon? Businesses might give artificial intelligence, AI, systems an increasing amount of autonomy and link them to critical infrastructure, such as stock exchanges, power grids, and military weapons. They might then start to produce issues. This did not appear very likely to many experts until the past year or so, when businesses such as OpenAI showed off notable advancements in their technology. That demonstrated what might be achievable if artificial intelligence develops at this rapid rate. Decision-making and thinking from current humans and human-run institutions could be usurped by artificial intelligence. AI, as it becomes more autonomous, stated Anthony Aguirre, a cosmologist at the University of California, Santa Cruz, and founder of the Future of Life Institute, the group behind one of two open letters. The huge machine that governs society and the economy will eventually show that it is not truly under human control and cannot be switched off any more than the S and P 500 can be stopped, he predicted. That is the theory anyway. Some AI specialists think the idea is absurd. Using the word hypothetical to describe existential risk is a nice way to put it, stated Oren Etzioni, the founding CEO of the Seattle-based research lab, Allen Institute for AI. Do you have any clues that I could accomplish this? Not exactly. However, scientists are turning ChatGPT and other chatbots into systems that can act on the text they produce. The most notable example is a project named AutoGPT. Giving the system objectives like found a company or make some money is the idea. Once that is done, it will continue to search for methods to accomplish it, especially if it is linked to other online services. Computer programs can be generated via a system similar to AutoGP. It is capable of running those programs if researchers granted access to a computer server. Theoretically, AutoGPT can accomplish nearly anything on the internet with this ability. It can access databases, run programs, build new apps, and even enhance itself. Systems such as AutoGPT are currently not functioning effectively. They frequently become mired in never-ending cycles. One system was given all the tools it required by researchers so that it could duplicate itself. It was not able to. Eventually, those restrictions might be removed. Conjecture's founder, Connor Leahy, stated that people are actively attempting to create self-improving systems to harmonize artificial intelligence, AI, and human values. At the moment, this isn't functional, but it will eventually, and we're not sure when that day will come. According to Mr. Leahy, when researchers, businesses, and criminals give these systems objectives like make some money, they run the risk of infiltrating financial institutions, igniting a revolution in a nation where they control oil futures, or reproducing themselves if someone tries to switch them off. Where do AI systems pick up bad behavior? Neural networks mathematical systems that can acquire new skills by analyzing data are the foundation of artificial intelligence. AI systems like ChatGPT. In 2018, businesses such as Google and OpenAI started developing neural networks that acquired knowledge from vast volumes of digitized content extracted from the internet. These systems learned to produce writing on their own, including news stories, poems, computer programs, and even human-like conversation. By identifying patterns in all this data, chatbots like ChatGPT are the outcome. So this is the end of our today's video. Do you like it? Kindly give your valuable response in our comment section below and don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel for more interesting and informative videos.